Hello, my dear friends. Today we're going to talk about the magic of small daily changes and how that affects your clutter. I know that your clutter is driving you crazy. I know that it's in the back of your mind. I know that even if you can't see it in your home, you know where it is. So the, matter, the magic of small daily changes is what will actually cause your home to transform into that streamlined home that you want. So what are those daily changes? Well, we start with routines. Now routines are for us. It looks like they may be for the family, but in the long run, they're for us. And you may have heard me say this before, but it bears repeating. When you do your morning routine, for example, you're gonna get up and you're going to swish and swipe the toilet and wash your face and brush your teeth and comb your hair and put on your makeup and get your clothes on and make your bed. You're gonna go in the kitchen and you're gonna empty the dishwasher and make some something to drink. That's your actual morning routine. How do some of these things benefit you? How would emptying the dishwasher benefit you? How would swishing and swiping, in other words, cleaning the toilet and the sink really quickly every morning benefit you? Doesn't that benefit the whole family? Well, it does benefit the family, it's true, but who carries the burden of that? When you come into the kitchen in the morning and your dishwasher wasn't emptied, uh, was emptied, uh, let's say in the middle of the day, the day before, and it got filled up with dirty dishes and no one ran it because that was part of your before bed routine and you still had a because you thought maybe there was a little more room but other people couldn't find out how to put those plates in there and so now there are dishes built up on the kitchen counter and in the sink etc if you had had your dishwasher empty in the beginning of the day and people had filled it up during the day and you've been there to organize that and make sure that things happened the way they should, hopefully. And at the end of the day, you make sure all the dishes are in the dishwasher, the soap is in it and you run it. Then the first thing in the morning, you empty it again so that the cycle repeats over and over again. This benefits the family, but it more benefits you because the glory of walking into a kitchen that you know the dishes in the dishwasher are clean, the sink is shining, the counters are clear, that's for you, Mama. That's for you when you walk into the kitchen in the morning. Okay, that's your kitchen singing, ah, good morning. It's a wonderful feeling. When you go into the bathroom and the toilet is shiny, have you ever been sick in a dirty toilet? You never know. Have you ever had a neighbor come over and said, oh, can I use your potty? Is it clean? Oh my goodness, you know, but if you've been in there that day and you've swished and swiped it in the morning and you've, you, when you're there, you look, you know, oh, there's, a, there's no toilet paper. The kids used the last of the toilet paper. Let me put a new one on. All those little niceties that are, make it convenient for someone to use the bathroom, including you, happen and it makes it nicer for you. So when your neighbor says, can I, if she's over visiting and having coffee, I don't know with Omicron if that's happening right now, but you know, let's say that they did or your sister or somebody came over, you want them to be able to go use your bathroom and not worry about it. That's for you. Okay. So the routines slowly but surely make life nicer for you. But the things that are going to really change, the little things that are going to really change are the clutter the decluttering that you do in your zone. You have four days a week or four units of time a week of 15 minutes. If you're a payroll homemaker, you'll take those four units together on a Saturday morning and work for one hour in your zone. If you're an at-home homemaker, you do 15 minutes four days that week. Those little changes, those small changes of decluttering for 15 minutes are what is going to make a huge change in your house over time. Some people say, well, Kat, I need to see immediate immediate." change. I need gratification or I'm just not inspired to go forward. Well, change your perspective. If you're going to need immediate gratification, which I think we all need, then know that you're going to clear one shelf today. I've got one shelf I want to clear today. That's my job for 15 minutes. Let's say it's a, a bookshelf or a shelf full of, it could be a cabinet full of pots and pans, just whatever. Something that you can clear about the size of a banker box. It's not a huge amount of space. You're going to declutter, because decluttering takes time. You have to think about, what am I going to do? Am I going to keep this or throw it away or give it away? I mean, I don't want you to take a lot of time debating. Make a quick decision and go with it. But in the end, you have a clean, organized space. At the end of that 15 minutes, 
you are done. You're not completely done because you have to complete the process of decluttering, which is to take the trash outside to the garbage, to take the put away, the giveaway rather, and put it in the back of your car so you can take it when you go on errand day to give it away. And then the put away means you take the things that don't belong on this shelf and you go put them where they do belong, the things you want to keep. And now you can go back anytime you need some gratification, open the cupboard or look at the shelf and say, and if you do that four times this week, you're going to have four shelves or four cabinets or four drawers or whatever that are going to give you gratification. You get to go look at that. You also want to look at it to make sure that you aren't recluttering the space or someone else isn't recluttering the space, re-educating your family as to what this space is used for. So that's how little changes can change your life. Now, there are other parts that we need to do that will change the way you, your home runs, and that is your weekly plan, your basic weekly plan. On Mondays at Home Homemakers, do a weekly home blessing hour. Patron, I mean patrons, uh, payroll homemakers do that on Saturday morning as well. So they have two hours of work on Saturday morning. Don't feel bad. Don't think I don't know what I'm talking about. I worked for 40 years. I know how this works. I've been where you are. But if you work for two hours, if you get up on Saturday morning like you did Monday through Friday and you work in that in that um, zone for one hour and you do your basic weekly plan, your weekly home blessing hour, in two hours you're going to be done. Now, if you have a family and you work during the week and your husband works during the week and everybody's off on Saturday, there's nothing to say that you can't have them help you with that weekly home blessing hour. Or you might have some other assignments for your family to do while you're working diligently at what you're working at. Setting an example is the most important thing you can do. Doing something consistently and then inspecting what you expect of your family. Inspecting it. Did you do what I told you to do? Those are little changes that are going to make a big difference in your life. But the weekly home blessing hour is not a deep clean. It's a blessing. Are you blessing the house and making it look better? You're doing a 10-minute vacuum of the whole house. It is possible. Five rooms, two minutes each, period. You're doing a 10-minute mop of the whole house, which is just the kitchen and the bathrooms. Three minutes in the kitchen, two minutes in each bathroom. It might not even take you 10 minutes. You're dusting the whole house. If you have a feather duster, especially a Fly Lady feather duster, you can get that at tools at flylady.net. I do not have any affiliation with that other than it is a fabulous tool and I highly recommend it. You can do so much in 10 minutes in your house when you're dusting with a Fly Lady duster. You don't have to move things. You just dust. It's amazing. 10 minutes. 10 minutes on wiping down the glass in your house. Just looking at little smudges. You're not using the Windex and, and paper towels and cleaning the whole thing. You're cleaning the smudge. The smudge. The splatter. That's it. The nose print. The fingerprint. That's it. Ten minutes to get that done. Stripping your bed takes about two minutes. You strip the bed and get those sheets in the washer first thing in the morning on Saturday from your bed. And overall, it'll probably take about ten minutes, but it doesn't take ten minutes in a lump sum. It takes about two minutes, and then you go put it in the washer and let it run. When it's done, you put it in the dryer. It dries. When it's done, you take it out. You don't fold them. You put them back on your bed. You let that bed air out until you get those sheets back on. So you're not wasting time. Your time is valuable. Whether you're at home or whether you're payroll, your time is valuable. These little changes are going to make a huge change in your life. The way you see yourself, not as a martyr, but as a nurturer, as the only mother, that's you. You have to take care of yourself. So another thing that's going to make a huge change in your life is that before bed routine, where you go to bed on time. And to do that, you have to do your before bed routine. You have to go backwards. So let's say this is your time you need to go to bed. You need to be in bed at, asleep at 10, then you need to be in bed at 9.30, which means you need to do your before bed routine at 9, or maybe the last part of your before bed routine at 9.15. And you need to get the kids in bed at such and such a time, which need, means you need to bathe them at such and such a time, which need you, means you need to feed them at such and such a time, which means you need to start dinner at such and such a time. And maybe do your before bed routine after dinner before you start their before bed routine. And you just say brushing your teeth and flossing your teeth and turn it on the dishwasher for the end. But you have to be mindful and do these little steps so that you can get your sleep 
and so that you will feel better the next morning and so that you can get up in the morning and do your morning routine. The two most important routines are the before bed routine and the morning routine. These little things are going to make a huge change in your life and in the clutter that you cause in your household or that you allow to be thriving in your household because you feel better and you can stay on top of it. Okay? So decluttering with the clutter stops, decluttering in your zone, doing your routines, doing your basic weekly plan. These things are going to change your life. No one thing is huge. Don't make it bigger than it is. It's little. Do what you need to do every day. Don't worry about yesterday or tomorrow. Do what you need to do today. This is a tiny change that will make a huge difference in your life. And always, always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful.